In the fields of archaeology and anthropology, early studies were largely focused on humans and their place within their world. Soon, however, other specialized areas would begin to emerge. One of these is the focus of NEU anthropology professor, Dr. Christina Burke. Zooarchaeology is the study of animal bones and archaeology sites to understand human behaviors. So how did animals and humans interact in the past? So you take zoo and add it to archaeology, so zoology and archaeology. Over the years, Christina's fieldwork has taken her from the Great Plains of the U.S. to the jungles of Central America. Her studies of ancient bones have shown that human and animal interactions reveal differences in everything from food gathering to ritual practices. Hunting bison is what I've studied in the past. How did they hunt bison? How did they butcher those bison? How did they share the bison meat and remains amongst their communities? So some sites, it'll be clear that the artifacts that we're finding, the animal bones that we're finding, were from a butchery process, from consuming the animals. They've used stone tools to cut away large chunks of meat. Instead of studying the stone tools, I'm studying the cut marks that the stone tools leave on animal bones to understand that process. In the summer of 2016, a Mayan burial site in Belize would reveal additional discoveries and shed light on the importance of status in these ancient societies. At the site of Shunantanich, we found a fairly substantial royal tomb. Within that tomb, we found a male buried in his late 30s, early 40s, but around him were jaguar bones, puma bones, and deer bones. And one of the things we saw around this individual's hands, the human burial, his hands, he had jaguar claw bones. So the, the third bone in the hand of the jaguar has the place where the claw comes out, like you would see in a domestic cat today. And those were around his hands, suggesting that he was either wearing jaguar mitts or puma mitts, or he was wearing a cloak or a, some kind of cape that had the claws left in it. Jaguars are important to the elite. They represent the pinnacle of an animal on the landscape. Jaguars can kill and consume everything. So that is representative of the elite. He clearly was a significant member of society for wearing these mitts, potentially a warrior that was a part of a major conflict between some of the communities in the region. While Christina's experience in this field is far reaching, its greatest impact might be on the students that she mentors. I love bones. Generally, those of us that study animal bones are pretty nerdy about it. And I like seeing when my students can figure it out, when they get really excited and they're like, oh my gosh, we discovered this is an armadillo. And now every time we find a weird shaped bone, it's an armadillo. So it's, it's watching the puzzle kind of come together and, and, and really helping students learn that process.